another item from Zactech, this time a whisper receiver. In this video, I'll give a review and demonstration. This is a standalone whisper receiver. Connect it to your computer and an antenna, and you'll be able to decode whisper signals from all over the world. It could be useful if you want something to monitor whisper full time, but not wish to tie up your main HF transceiver. All you need is an antenna, an audio connection to the computer, and appropriate whisper software loaded on the computer. The configuration inside is very simple. It's about the simplest practical direct conversion receiver. An Arduino, an SI5351 to form the local oscillator, an NE612, and an LM386. That provides audio amplification necessary to drive the computer. Being a simple direct conversion receiver, there is no phasing out of the audio image. That means selectivity is about double that of a more advanced direct conversion receiver with a phasing method means of removing the audio image or a SUPET receiver with a crystal filter that offers single signal high selectivity reception. Will this broader selectivity be a problem in practice? Inside are the instructions, a lead from the computer to the receiver unit, it's a USB type, and the unit itself. The receiver unit is small, light and robust. A nice touch is the block diagram. The connections line up on the ends. For instance, that's the audio out to the computer, the micro USB power in, 5 volts, and here is the antenna input. The antenna socket is an SMA. While it does the job, personally I would have preferred a bigger and more robust socket, such as a BNC or SO239. The documentation is just a few pieces of paper, but if you want more, including the circuit diagram and the source code, you can get it from the Zactech website. It's not mentioned in the instructions, but you can plug a pair of low impedance headphones into the receiver's output. Listening on the headphones while plugging in the antenna gives a good increase in received noise. As for the audio cable from the Zactec, I'm using a 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter cable, stereo to stereo, and that goes into the socket of this Y connector, which connects to a four pin plug connecting into the computer. If you've got an older style of computer, then you won't need that latter connecting cable. Is the Zactec receiver plug and play? Well, almost, and the reason why it isn't is that there are some fiddly computer settings that you need to sort out. That's the case with any whisper receiver, not just the Zactec. These include accurate timing. If your computer is off, then you won't decode anything from whisper. You need to learn how to set your computer up to the internet clock so it can be accurate. Then there's audio levels. In this case, you need to be able to change the microphone level because the audio coming out of the Zactec receiver, enough to drive headphones, is too much for the computer. To get the audio down to that suitable for the computer's sensitive microphone connection, you need to either insert an attenuator box between the whisper receiver and the computer, or adjust the computer microphone settings. I got to the microphone settings of this computer by right clicking on the speaker icon at the bottom right of the screen. There is a menu, various settings, and eventually, after a lot of fiddling, I was able to reduce the audio coming in through the microphone connection. I've set it at 14% which is fine for the whisper receiver. Bearing in mind I'm not using any attenuator box between its output and the input to the computer. 
you don't want to be overloading this bar into the red. These are some receiving results. Those up to and including 1208 UTC were received via the FT817, whereas those after 1220 were received via the Zactec receiver. If we take VK3MI, a comparative local at 65 kilometers distant, there's some consistent differences between the receivers. With the FT817, VK3MI was reading negative 5 dB, whereas with the Zactec, negative 10 dB. I put that down to the FT817's superior selectivity. But as you can see, that's not stopping the Zactec from receiving long distance signals. It's now early in the morning and I've had the Whisper receiver going overnight. A lot of spots have been received from all over the world. I've enjoyed using the Zactec Whisper receiver. It's rugged, solidly built and performs well. If you've got a need for a remote whisper receiver that you can use without tying up your main transceiver, then this product is something that you should consider. For more information or to order, visit the Zactec website at zactec.com. And my thanks to Harry SM7PNV for the review unit.